Welcome to this new satisfactory tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain how to make a main bus, a minimal, and explain how you can use stackable conveyor poles both to ensure space efficiency and to achieve an aesthetically pleasing result. So, the base that you see here is a base that Oh, it's a big thing. Arakel and I have spent around 30 hours building and it is separated into two major sections with a few outposts here and there outside the bases. We had a lot of fun planning and exploring and solving various conundrums in the game. But with that said, let's begin. So let's just first cover the main bus. As you can see in front of you, this is the main bus that I've built. One requirement that you will need for this is stackable conveyor poles. Um, they look like this. And to get them, you need to research the technology um, logistics MK2, which you will find in tier 3, as shown on the screen. And this technology also unlocks the conveyor belt MK2. I will cover the belt tier efficiency in a different tutorial, together with both minor smelter and constructor tier efficiency. So, this is the second base that we built. Um, the first one you can see in the distance over there. Uh, the main bus transports all the needed products from the first base to this location, uh, so that I don't have to drive all the way over there to pick up the items that I need. And the containers that I'm standing upon are where the products are being transported into so that whenever I need something I can just run over here and pick up whatever I need. So as you can see the main bus consists of stackable conveyor poles with various products being fed into these storage containers that I'm standing upon which is kind of like a mini mall and there's also one belt which you can see here that sends coal from one of our coal outposts into the uh, furnaces that are behind the space elevator up there somewhere um, where we smelt iron ore and coal into steel. As far as I've been able to tell there is no upper limit to how tall you can build one of these conveyor pole towers and that's of course quite useful. Um, but if you want your bus to be really, really tall, uh, you might need to either use foundations or walkways, which you then have to build in a stack upwards, uh, to get to the uh, tallest sections. So that can be uh, kind of uh, a major chore for you to do. So um, you can then just build two of the buses uh, beside one another, um, which would probably be easier in that case. But of course, if you want to have one really tall and very impressive bus, then of course that's the way to go. But you can also get a quite tall uh, bus by just using uh, the lookout tower. Uh, I haven't used the lookout tower on this one, so these are built by just standing on the ground. One other thing that I like to mention, as you can see, uh, I avoid using the uh, lowest belt point or stack uh, point in the uh, stackable conveyor belt towers. And the reason for this is to ensure that you are going to be able to drive a vehicle underneath there. Because if you use the lowest um, belt stack, uh, the vehicle will just bump into the belt and stop. This especially applies inside a factory and not only to the bus, but to all belts that you build. Wherever you want to uh, be able to drive a vehicle, you need to make sure that you um, have the lowest point open. If you're using the non-stackable conveyor uh, pole, uh, make sure that you build these uh, kind of bridge points uh, where the vehicles can drive underneath, which you can see in the distance over there. And... The height of the conveyor pole needs to be at least two then. So you, you place down the uh, conveyor pole, to, pole by uh, left clicking and then you need to make sure that you add it to the height of two. And now a vehicle is able to cross underneath if I build another conveyor pole over here and I belt this. 
So that is quite useful so that you have drive unders. Now also as a side note, conveyor stackers are also wide enough to have room for splitters and mergers on the belts that you build between them, which you will find comes in very handy at the production parts of your factory. You can place splitters and mergers directly onto already built belts, uh, which is what I've done here. Um, and thus you don't have them to build them on the ground. But you have to be careful when you do this because if you remove the belt that is directly above one of these, whether it's a splitter or, the, or a merger, you will not be able to rebuild the belt if you remove it. So you need to place the belts down first and then avoid removing the belt or you'll have to uh, remove the splitter or merger and redo it. So instead I suggest using the upgrade and or downgrade feature on the belt if you need to modify the belt uh, directly above. Another quick tip about uh, conveyor stackers are that they do have ladders on each side as you can see here. Um, this is um, quite useful because you can climb up and you can ride on the belt. And if you're using a conveyor belt MK3, this is especially useful for getting from place A to B uh, wickedly fast because the, the MK3 belts are really, really fast. Um, you can also fall a few layers and move to the side and land on belts underneath, which will allow you to get down without taking damage if you don't want to use the ladder. And you can also climb belts in the middle of the conveyor stack this way. If you prefer a bus that looks very orderly, as opposed to the bus that I've built here, or actually Aracle built this, you can use foundations to ensure that everything snaps properly to one another. So just build one long line of foundations where you want your bus to go, place down the stackable conveyor poles at the appropriate locations, and you can then drag a belt as you walk, uh, but when it says too long, then place the stackable pole short of that distance. When you have ensured that everything is in order, you can then remove all the foundations between the ones that have the stackable conveyor poles on them, and you will have a completely aligned bus. When building your factory, I always recommend using foundations. As you can see, I've been quite liberal in my use of them here, because they are very, very helpful in ensuring that things snap properly and that you can build things in the most space efficient manner and you will also get, uh, at least in my opinion, very visually appealing result. Um, finally, some tips on these stackable conveyor ports. If you want perfect 90 degree symmetrical turns, you can build them like this. Note that there is just one tiny little corner here, and I can place a belt like that and put it there, and then you have a very nicely looking 90 degree symmetrical turn. Now, be aware of the fact that if you need to change levels, that won't work because the uh, distance is too short. So you'll get a very funky looking belt and it'll tell you that the conveyor belt is too steep. Finally, in case you build multi-level factories like I've done here, I would like to quickly show you how to make kind of a minibus to move products between the factory levels. As you can see here, I am using two stackable conveyor poles that are aligned to one another on the foundations below, as in they are aligned this way, to transport the stators from the level above. I'm producing them above and I'm producing the rotors down here so that I can produce motors over here. Um, and this is a very handy way to, to, uh, to move the products from one level to another. Now, if you build your stackable conveyor poles at the same points of a foundation, and I do suggest using the middle of the foundation, there is a very simple formula for how many belts you can build in the stack to transport products between each level. And I've built some examples of this here. If you have the stackable conveyor poles like this, which is in the middle of two foundations, just beside one another, you will be able to have two belts moving either up or down. If you build the conveyor, stackable conveyor poles with one foundation between them, 
you can then add two belts so you get four belts and then if you build with two foundations in between them you will then be able to build six belts and so on so for each foundation you have between the two stackable conveyor poles you can add another two belts to this bus and with that we have reached the end of the tutorial but there is something that i would like to mention which is keep in mind Satisfactory, like most production line games, is a game where you should never be afraid to tear down something that you've built and rebuild it. Creating a factory that you feel is perfect to your specific style of building is not something you should expect to happen in one single game session. So when you make a mistake, smile, learn from it, learn from others, watch tutorials and let's plays, and with each new playthrough you'll see that your building style and that your factory efficiency will improve with every single time you build a new factory. Thank you all for joining me and see you all next time.